Okay. All right, good. So now let's finally, let's take a deep dive into course selection for two very important math courses. Um, just like voting, it's very important that we understand the issues before we pick. So when you're confronted with choosing between AP Statistics and AP Calculus, which one do we take? Um, to give us a deeper understanding into this, we'll welcome Ms. Poon, our math teacher. Let's welcome Ms. Poon to talk about this. Hi, um, thank you for spending the afternoon with us. Um, my name is Trudy, and uh, I, I'm uh, currently holding, uh, sorry, I'm currently working as a statistician. So if you found my presentation a little bit biased towards statistics, because this is my major. <laughs> so I've been trained in, um, in statistics and also got my bachelor degree in applied mathematics. So um, I actually started here not too long ago and I've been helping um, tutoring students in statistics and mathematics. And um, I think it might be, um, I think like some of parents when they are not uh, from this particular, uh, when they're not in the school area, when they didn't um, get high school education here, it might be like a little bit um, confusing to them, like how I'm going to help my kid to decide um, whether they should take statistics or whether they should to, uh, take calculus. So um, here I'm just trying to give you like an overview of what um, my understanding, like how it can help your kid to prepare either doing calculus or statistics. Um, from my personal opinion, the more math the better, simply just because uh, math helps to train us to think logically. So um, I just want, uh, this is just the overview of the exam format for AP Statistics and AP Calculus. So you see that um, currently now they break uh, both tests into two sections. One section is multiple choices, and then the other section is um, free responses. So um, both sections would have uh, one and a half hour of time. Notice that uh, when you make, when you, um, do multiple choices, once you fill in the wrong bubble, even you're so close to the answer, you still get the answer wrong. So for free responses, you might still be able to get partial credit, depending on what you write in there. So, um, so but you will see that both the format for AP Statistics and AP Calculus are pretty similar to one another, which also com uh, compose of two sections. Um, the only Part I wanted to point out on the section two on the free responses because on the uh, AP calculus, the free response actually let you um, write out the uh, derivation, how you get from the top to the uh, to, to get to your answers. But for um, for AP statistics, for for the second part, it actually requires you to do interpretation a little bit more, and. Um, Many years ago when I was uh, working as a TA, I have a student complain to me once saying that um, I only filled in one word wrong and they take five points off from my test. And it was talking about probability. And that word is that either they have to choose it as a probability of event A or event B, or you're talking about the probability of event A and event B. And just having that middle word differ from each other, they actually mix a big difference in statistics. So, um, so with that said, how is statistics different from calculus? Um, statistics is actually a science; it's not really a branch of mathematics. But a lot of the um, a lot of the um, tools that we use in, t in statistics is based on a lot of the mathematical tools. So we use math a lot, and um, it is a science that we are concerned about developing method and studying method for collecting, analyzing data interpret, uh, to interpret them. So in a way, we are basically trying to get uh, data into a number so that everyone can understand it. And, and this field is very interdisciplinary. So like in Silicon Valley, I'm sure a lot of the, um, like my parents, when she was telling me when I was at a younger age is that, oh, you want to be an engineer, doctor, lawyer, or uh, I forgot what's the last one, <laughs> but somewhere along that line for career choices. 
So statistics is actually uh, very in interdisciplinary, and it's actually if your if your kid become interested in say date, becoming a data scientist, it is actually a very good skill to 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 have in the pocket. So is and it is a uh, um, also applicable in um, process process um, process control QC. Um, of course, uh, being a statistician in uh, medical, in the drug company, pharmaceutical world, or medical device company. So um, the, the, uh, the career choice is not really that limited, uh, as, you, as some of you might be uh, thinking. So this is just kind of how you can apply statistics in your daily life. Um, yesterday, I actually shared an um, I don't know if any one of you watched Big Bang Theory, uh, so it's actually on my favorite show. So uh, I was sharing with one of my students saying that um, when you're setting an experiment, you're thinking about, oh, what type of um, factors you need to include in. And one of the scenes in Big Bang Theory was that uh, for Josh Cooper Polly, uh, at the earlier stage in the show, he has to drink alcohol in order to talk to a woman. So, uh, <laughs> So later on the train, he actually had a bottle of uh, non-alcoholic beverages, but it's in a beer bottle. So he thought he had he had beer, and then he went on and talked to a woman, very smooth, very nice. And then when Howard noticed that, he was very upset. And uh, uh, Leonard told him that the bottle he's having is actually non-alcoholic. So he went on, and, and so Howard immediately said, hey, it's placebo effect. So he think he was taking alcohol, but he's not but he was experiencing the effect of the alcohol he think he was taking. So placebo effect. So if you know no statistics, then you will find that joke funny because as soon as Howard told Rajesh that he wasn't taking alcohol, he immediately had the withdrawal syndrome like he can't talk to a woman at that point. So um, statistics is actually very applicable in a lot of daily lives. So even like when you um, hear the news talk to you about uh, the poll they take, um, a lot of uh, the average, the means, or maybe like the median, these are all terminology from, t from statistics. So it doesn't only help um, your kid to get better in college or to get ahead, but it also helps them to um, be analytical in the daily lives, in the daily um, numbers that you hear from news. So which I think I found very important because when people feed number to you, you cannot just believe in them. You need to think like, where did that number come from? How did they derive, uh, how did they derive that number out? So calculus. Um, calculus is actually a branch of mathematics, and it's um, used to finding properties of uh, derivatives and integrals. So um, it's actually a, a branch of math that study um, small changes. It is a very fundamental tool to have if they want to move on to a higher level of mathematical studies. Because after um, calculus, uh, A, B, and B, C, we have differential equations, and then we also take, uh, we, uh, they will also need to take algebra. And it becomes especially important if your kids decided to go on to engineering fields, even for uh, medic uh, any medical fields or maybe physics, anything. The more math you take, you can't go wrong with it. So it is the cornerstone to a lot of the um, to a lot of different areas, like I mentioned, um, statistics in group. So um, from my perspective, statistics, if they're not planning on developing the method, uh, statistics is actually a very applied science where you can apply it. Uh, on a daily basis, and the stuff you use, you will never hear your kid complain like, oh, the stuff I learned from school, I never really get to use it in the job. In statistics, the stuff you learn from school, you will use it in the job. It's just a matter of when. Calculus is uh, the foundation for a lot of these tools. And so I think that kind of leads to the question like, where do I get to use statistics in daily life? It's actually on a larger scale. Um, we are using it every day, like building bridges, uh, building satellite, anything that actually requires mathematics. But we are just enjoying the fruit of that without knowing it. So 
I think it brings it brings us to the last and also the most important question is how do I decide which one to take? So uh, the short cheap answer is it depends, right? <laughs> so um, I think the major consideration is that you want to consider or you and your kid can sit down together and really talk about like what is the major what major they're interested in taking. Of course, if it is very clear that they want it to be in engineering field or maybe even in medicine, um, anything, you you want to go calculus. Actually, when I was doing my own little research to put together this presentation, I went on to College Board, and then they show that there are 138 job uh, choices you will be able to uh, touch your hands into if you take well if you study cal calculus well enough, and then plus also plus other things, of course. So um, it really depends on your interests, um, where you think it is. But I think if you're um, if you're, if for a lot of Silicon Valley parents, uh, maybe computer science, computer engineering is something your kid is interested in. Calculus is definitely the way to go. And then if your kid is not so strong in math, but maybe they like to write stuff a little more, be a, like, like a more deep thinker, statistics may be something they want to consider. Like I said, it's a very applicable science in um, a lot of different fields, and um, especially now there's more um, career choices being derived out from not just uh, calculus, but also from a combination of subjects. So it doesn't hurt to learn more in terms of the variety of the classes you're taking. So um, I'm just, this is my last slide, so I'm just curious, do you guys have any questions for me that you just want to ask? I don't think I don't think a lot of schools is offering BC because uh, it will take uh, it will actually take students to skip some classes or start like at a higher level when they're ninth grade. Uh, I don't have an answer to that, like which school offers that, but. Um, I don't. I don't have a short answer. I don't have a quick answer to that. But um, this, yeah. But uh, is the so after someone um, takes pre-calculus, pre-calculus, pre mm -hmm. is the person ready to take a statistics? If you statistics, yes. Because uh, if you take statistics, or the the math that really requires is really not that complicated. So if they they uh, if they have already taken pre-calculus, they can take statistics. Most of the statistic problem, like the second part of the exam, is actually from uh, knowing how to interpret the data. So uh, earlier we were just talking about setting uh, different types of study uh, between experiment and observational studies. So uh, the the most important part of it is knowing the right terminology to use to get the uh, to get the appropriate interpretation.